welcome everyone welcome welcome to another episode of son of elijah my name is mac the lion and i'm your host for this program we start a new series this week on the witch's toolbox you could also call it the devil's toolbox and i want you to understand the dynamics of where we are today there is a series I've already produced titled Utilizing the Rules of Engagement in order for you to take on the forces of wickedness. But this information I want to release right now has always been there. And in my spirit, I said, no, before I unleash that one, which is already produced, I need to talk about the witch's toolbox or the devil's toolbox. Because of course, every witch is working for Satan, is working for the devil, the Asian serpent. So interchangeably, we're talking about the same thing. But this is Satan's toolbox, literally. And I want you to connect with that which I want to discharge excellently, even for this few episodes that I'm going to teach on this subject. And I'm sure you're going to find it quite interesting as we go forward. Now, pay attention to that which I want to relay very quickly. Let me roll out some underbellies of that which is the pedestal that is going to line up everything that we are going to discharge within this timeline. You have to understand that the devil, the serpent, the ancient serpent, Satan originally was created as Lucifer. But when he inverted himself, when he decided that he had an agenda that he needed to do, the Bible says that iniquity was found in him. He was okay, he was perfect, he was the son of the morning, he was the bright one who represented God's wisdom, as it were, in the fullness of God's capacity. Because the Bible talked about the fact that he was carried the sum of all within him but when he ruined himself he inverted himself he became evil he went bad because evil is good gone bad so he who was created originally to be good corrupted himself by inverting himself that inversion process was what produced now him today of three-dimensional person who is the devil satan and also the asian serpent now when he did this he inverted himself he turned himself inside out and as a result of that he became what he is today now satan knows that god having created man because man and the wicked one satan the devil the asian serpent were all created in the same class of man that means they are trapatite being because the word man means a trapatite being because man is spirit soul body while satan the devil the asian serpent is also a trapatite being so the part of him that the father invested in which is the summit of the wisdom of God was what he inverted and now produced Satan. The part of him the son of God created which was his house and the stones that decked his whole body was what he inverted and then ruined it and now became the devil which is the seducer because he seduces you know the flesh as it were and then last but not the least was his positioning and his elevation which was a functionality of the holy spirit that gave him his cloud of understanding and his cloud of influence and his leadership and of course that's what he inverted and became the asian serpent so the asian serpent is the trafficker and the manipulator of the minds of men while the devil is the seducer of the body of man while satan is the resistor and the opposition of or the assaulter of the spirit of of man and that is how he functions and everything he does now he has individuals that he has released upon the earth now he has individuals he has succeeded in seducing and corrupting and now they are part of his army amongst the human spirits and that is individuals that we have tagged as witches and wizards and all the classes of mediums who operate in between and these individuals represent satan's kingdom even without knowing it some of them do some of them do not they actually think that they are good some even call themselves white witch even some say they are trying to help people connect with the underworld connect with loved ones and all this but all these are all artistry of necromancy and manipulations using family attending spirits who now function and masquerade as as ancestral spirits our forefathers who have passed away long time ago and then now use those entities to be able to manipulate the lives of people on a present day basis and these individuals who are witches are carrying out satan's agenda which is one power wizards one power they want to dictate and determine outcomes but in opposition to that 
what they don't know is that they are giving Satan exactly what he wants because self is the instrument that Jesus warned us about that's why when he said carry your cross and follow me he said you have to deny self once you deny self then you become an instrument that can carry your cross and then follow him even unto greatness and the glories of God wherein you were created for but as far as self is in the midst it's very difficult and that self is is, 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 is what the Satan tries to feed exclusively using the pride of life because of course the pride of life is the instrument he assaults with in the spiritual realm to the spirit man and then to the physical body he tries to assault with the seduction of the lust of the flesh and then finally he tries to assault the mind with the lust of the eyes and of course this is what is responsible for deception seduction and ultimately corruption and that is what gives him what he wants wherein the bible says he comes to steal kill destroy so he tries to steal the mind or steal from the mind using the lust of the eyes then he tries to kill or terminate the body using the the instrument of the lust of the flesh and then ultimately wants to destroy the spirit by using the pride of life which is independency of life that means you get to a place where you now say my life belongs to me and i can do with it whatever i want this is how satan functions and these are his instruments that are his bay but now satan has a toolbox and you need to understand what this toolbox is and witches or wizards are carrying that toolbox and this is how they function because you need to pay very close attention to that which i want to teach and explain in the next few episodes of oh, Son of Elijah and you must do everything you can to make sure you join it. And before I go any further, please just do me a favor. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, there's a button over there. I've been trying to see if I can tap on it but it's a struggle for me to do. Can you do it on my behalf? Just look down under the screen. You will see a like button, a thumbs up. Just go there and just tap on it very quickly before we even go any further. And if you've not subscribed, please tap on the subscription button also. It's just right there. Just tap on it so that every time there's notifications or any new thing coming you can get it right in your desktop on your phone immediately and then the ecosystem of our messages will always be constantly hovering around you anytime you go onto youtube so that you can click and watch that which you know we're presenting because more good stuff juicy great stuff is coming your way through this platform and i can't wait to get all the good stuff that you require in order for you to have victory a lot of people are having victory enormously having not just only connected to our platform but the people who also have been able to connect with us in prayer and everyone is having victory uninhibited so i can't wait to give you more stuff all in line with that now as we pick up where we stop now listen to this very carefully i was in a vision this vision was very interesting there was a, a lady you know there was a lady i was praying for and i had really prayed and prayed and prayed invested a lot of hours into her life and i discovered carefully that her mother had done something to her which had allowed her or caused her to function a certain way which was not normal now the mother was a witch as it were and i use the word was because she's known my life and then when the woman was alive the woman manipulated her life but the manipulation of her life was being done remotely because she was living in a different country where her mother was not but even at that even at, as it were her mother was able to remotely in fact affect manipulate her life and literally control it by remote access but for a remote control to work it has to have some form of installation that installation is the go between between that witch and the lives of the individual that they try and control and that's what they do that's why they will they will put some thing in your life in order for them to accomplish that it's like a remote control of your television if you have an, a, a samsung television and you have an lg remote it will not work no matter how much you try even though they were manufactured in the same country or designed in the same country i'm telling you it will not work the reason it will never work is because there is a component in that uh, television designed by samsung that is represented in a remote control for which samsung has put a corresponding capacity that allows the infrared signal that comes out from the remote to pair up with that television and once there is connection then it's able to receive signal read that signal and then respond accordingly and by so doing you're able to watch what you like you're able to see what you like you are able to change the channels or you know play around with the remote you know the brightness and every configuration 
happen in the television. Many at times, all the advanced features are all hidden in the remote because the basic buttons on the television is just a few, like switch on and off, channel up and down volume, and all that. Those are the basic, you know, buttons that are available. But the rest of all the advanced features and configurations is all hidden on what the remote. So that's why you need the remote, and then get the right remote once you press it. It pairs up, and then you are able to call up order things and make changes. Now that is exactly how it works. So LG would also require, and all every company does that. If you Siemens television, it will have a remote control carrying the same pair, and with that there is configurations, and it's able to interpret and interlope and interface excellently with that line of sight of signal coming from the remote, and now you're able to change it. The same thing with what the devil does using witches. Witches are individuals that function many at times within your background and always link to a bloodline. And if you are related to anyone, that means Satan has already assigned them within that capacity and tells them these are the individuals based on the star that they can see that this one is carrying greatness or has potential or what they can achieve for this generation and for God ultimately. And then Satan now instructs them and guides them and commands them to do these following things to become the individuals who Satan will now use to mutilate the lives and the destinies or control the lives and the destinies of this individual. And then they need to put something in their lives that will become a go-between and that go-between becomes the instrument of manipulation that that witch and the devil satan the wicked one will utilize in order to control the lives of individual and bring them to a place of ruinage and deprecation so that their lives will never amount to the fullness of that which god designated for them and this is the main reason why a lot of people are struggling and suffering and they are not gaining traction in their lives so it just so happened that this particular lady i was praying and praying for her as i normally pray for everyone i could but she was a bit unique because there was a greatness of the potentiality of God that was stored up in her and there were things that God had called her to do for which was not gaining any relevance or traction because of the installations that had been done in her. She had told me how her mother, you know, as a young age, told her to make some incantations, repeat some words, give her something to, you know, to lick and then before you know it, that thing was implanted or put in her and then, of course, they do all that thing spiritually but that was the access point that was required for her to comply. Now, she did not know what she was doing. She was just a little girl maybe about six or seven but the mother said repeat this word say these following things leak this and that was it and then by the time she was done you know she had transferred it then the realm of the spirit they actually implanted something in her body so when i was doing that prayer of deliverance because there was a certain angle of conduct and characteristics and behaviorals that was not adding up that that i saw in this lady's life and i used to wonder why this thing had persisted even after so much prayer so i didn't know god wanted to give me an experience an encounter that was going to give me something so exceptional and unique. So in this encounter, I was in this vision. It was like a trance-like vision. And then I was with the host of heaven. And the host of heaven brought what looks like a bath. That's the only thing I could call it. Just think of the bath that you normally jump into when you want to, you know, soak and, you know, have a nice bath, you know, come out squeaky clean. Just think of that bath. But now, think of it made out of very hard plastic, high quality plastic, and it's transparent like glass. But it's, just look at it like that. So it could be made of glass, it could be made of high quality uh, uh, polycarbonate material that makes it, you know, see-through, made of very clear see-through material, but high quality. It sat in a rectangular shape, just like the size of a bath and it was very big and then the anointing came because i was watching what the anointing was doing and then they mixed a larder the larder wants to look like a detergent like soap and then they mixed it in this in this uh, material in this because they filled it with water and then they put that content in it and then they started moving it as they were moving it gradually started foaming and it started foaming and, and there was a bubble everywhere so it looked like a bubble bath but you could see the liquid and then you could see the substance the angel set all this thing up and after they are set it all up and then they now told me that is your desk and that is from where you are going to work and i was wondering what this was all about but now i continue to pray then all of a sudden the lord now showed me that particular lady in the realm of the spirit and i could see her spirit body and immediately pointed to a spot which i looked at and then i saw this huge spot and that spot had something that was implanted there like a device so i approached it in the realm of the spirit and then the holy spirit spoke to me and told me to take it out to remove that thing so i went and i dipped my hand into the spiritual body because remember i'm in a spiritual realm so i dipped my hand into the spiritual body of this lady and i picked out this thing this thing was big it was just about 
the size of egg yeah like the egg of a bird just a small like that but it wasn't round and smooth that way it was a bit rough and it was dark it was pure black and so i knew it was dark matter because that's what i normally call it that is the substance of evil that satan uses to traffic in the demise of men and in the functionality or dysfunctionality of lives so i took it out the very minute i took it out i remember immediately as i took it out and i faced where the anointing was standing because these are angelic beings that were the citadel was standing with me and one of them said hey, don't bring that thing near me now of course there was no way i was trying to bring it to him at the same time there was no way he would have even allowed it to touch him but i knew why he repeated those words very carefully because he wanted to tell me that those things even we that are angelic beings we don't touch those things those things are not allowed to touch us as individuals or maybe they were specific angels that were sent to do surgical removal of things from the body of people that are different from this class of angels because remember angels are different and the ones I'm, de I'm dealing with at that time were more of educator angels so they were not there to come and do battle or remove things they were there to show me because that was what their mission was to set up what was going to be my desk and that desk was a big bath of water that had lather in it that had created soapy substance and it was bubbling up all nicely and then they now told me to go and take that substance so when I got to that person I removed that thing from their body and they turned and one of them said don't let that thing touch me so that means they end, end touching this. Then I took it and then they now told me put it in the bath. And then I put it in the bath. And then they now told me to shake it up. You know, the same way they were shaking it up before when the bath was generating the bubbles. So they told me to shake it up. As I was shaking it up, all of a sudden something happened. That substance melted away into the water. As it melted away into the water, immediately words started bubbling up. And the words were now drawn on the surface of those bubbles and as it was drawn i could see a text and then i read the text and then they told me now the desk is set up that i should go ahead and start taking information and as i was doing that i started copying out everything that was written there i ended up writing 21 things that came out of that singular substance so i saw something very interesting first of all i was shown what that substance had in it for me to write second of all i was shown clearly that from where satan got that substance from there were complementary other substances that were all connected with it but that one was specifically for that individual to bring them to a place of accelerated demise and so by placing that substance in that bath not only did i did i succeed in bringing out the content that was there i was also successful in bringing out all the complementary content that was comp that was all linked with it think of it like when you open a box and that box is like a jewelry box right and maybe there are stones special stones all there so there's carbuncle there is diamond there is lapilla lazuli all kinds of special gems and stones red ruby all in that box and maybe there are about 30 or 40 different you know types of stones and gems and crystallites and everything that is there so one of them is the one that is taken away but it just so happens that because all the boxes had gems and all the gems were all reflecting you know as light hits it all of them were reflecting the light all bounced off all each other and one way or the other all the gems that were present in that box all reflected with one another so when you now took only one gem out and now put it under some type of powerful microscopic content it is not only able to decipher the flawlessness of that gem but it's also able to give you the data of all the stones that were all present in that box simply because they all reflected within that within that box because they all sat in the same box for a while and when light hit one it hit all of them simultaneously and each one was able to get data from the corresponding stones that were around it so that's what exactly happened that thing that i put in that bath was one item from one person and was designed exclusively for the demise and destruction of that person but as i came in contact with it and put it in that water i now saw that from where satan minted it out from where he generated that dark matter also was present other items that satan also uses for different individuals and so that's why in our series on the toolbox i'm not going to go through the whole 21 dimensions because that would be like 21 series and it would be too long so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to deal with only seven but each of them i will try and capture at least three in one of each because there are seven dimensions remember the wisdom of the father the wisdom of god is seven the dimensions of the depth of the wisdom of god is seven and is layered in three so father son holy spirit 
three persons, seven dimensions that give you 21 compartments. So that's why Satan has actually 21 of those destructive compartments, which I was able to extrapolate from that one item. But then, even though that be the case, it is still structured into three three layers, but seven specific you know dimensions. So when you juxtapose it both vertically and horizontally, it will give you those twenty one compartments, and that's what we call the sum of all. So when that was brought to me, when I took out that item and I put it in that water and that bath, and I was shaking it, all of a sudden each of them started emerging. As they emerged, I could read the data of what I saw, and God does that at times because He wants to give you an encounter. So so that you can have a direct encounter of what you saw and experienced. And it's not just you hearing voices or angels speaking to you or the anointing trying to teach you something so that you are not, you know, bamboozled or confused at some point where you are not 100% sure on what God is trying to show you or tell you in this context. But now God is showing you in clarity what he's trying to convey to you, to transport to you, to show you so that you can have depth of comprehensions and understanding of what the spirit of the living God is trying to communicate with you. And with that understanding, you are able to run with that revelation and then make a difference in your life. Now, I was the one that was being given this sum of all and I was trying to comprehend all that was being given me. So not only did I, I was able to resolve that one item but I resolved the whole 21 of them all put together and I extrapolated it and then I copied it into my material so God gave me a direct encounter that's why the things I teach are not things I read in a book it's not things that I join ideas with ideas I don't operate like that it comes from spiritual victories encounters depths now I've been praying for this lady for quite a while because I normally don't let people go until I have the victory that I'm looking for and then we can move on to the next level and even if you are not there tomorrow or we are no more together or any reason they are no more connected to me at least God brought me into removing the foundational limitations that have pushed back on them and now I've been able to bring them to the next level or next pedestal of the designation that God has scheduled for them and by so doing they're able to connect and tap into exclusively that which God has designated for them and then accomplishing the depths of that which God has scheduled for them to accomplish so that was how I, that's how I normally operate because I, I'm always there for a reason there are people that will not be connected to me long term but there's a depth of weakness that will not let them ever thrive and now they are stuck permanently or in perpetuity and then with the grace of God that I'm carrying I'm able to do a surgical inroad into their designation and remove what those depths of wickedness are stored in their destiny then I'm able to extrapolate it I'm able to bring it out on the exactness of what the Lord has scheduled for me or scheduled for them so I'm able to bring those things out and then discharge it accordingly then their lives will attain the relevancy that God has scheduled for it at that point in time so that's what happened and with that I was able to extrapolate 21 specific things regarding the designation of this individual and from there I was able to connect it with everything that is Satan's toolbox that he uses to regenerate the destinies of men and make sure that he inverts them make sure their characteristics contravene God's character make sure that they never grow make sure that they are stuck make sure that they never achieve greatness when the devil came because that's what they do they come and steal your light they steal your glory they steal your virtue like a woman that was telling me yesterday I did a prayer for her and I told her God will show you something he won't show me he doesn't need to I will pray that God will show you something and then she said she was trying to break free and escape and the snake was holding her like a python would not let her go holding her hands holding her legs and she's fighting she said but something very strange was about this python this python had very long dark hair it's how can a python have hair on his back but this one had a long hair and I say yeah that's the glory of man that is the glory of all the individuals she has swallowed because the Bible says that the glory of a woman is her hair. So she has been swallowing using the Python or spirit. Well, that is a very powerful witch that dwelt in her bloodline and she's a, she's a very strong witch. So she has been swallowing all the destinies of everyone that is within her locality. She has been able to swallow all their destinies and swallowing their glory is what she has embodied and that's why her hair keeps growing longer and longer as a snake and that's the glory. That's the essence. So in that vision and I prayed for that lady and she was fighting and trying to break free from that snake but that snake wouldn't let her go and that's when I told her I said wait it's time to 
kill this snake because she said everything keeps falling apart my career never takes off you know i get proposals from individuals but they never consummate it's almost like in perpetuity or becoming fiancés but never i said there's something responsible for it they are near misses as we we'll call it and this entity that is responsible for it will be shown you clearly so i did that prayer and when i did that prayer i opened the can of worms and here comes this snake who, say, who tells you that your destiny is going to be turned loose from me i said oh they don't give up i know these entities and that's why we're going to waste them that's why we're going to take them out since they refuse to walk away if they are walked away we are let them be but since they said they will not stop until they make sure that they recapture your destiny and make sure you fail that's why we are going to guarantee and make sure so that this entity is wiped out and neutralized now i'm going to leave you there because of time i'm going to continue in our next episode my name is mark the lion and i've been your host for this program please like share subscribe and give to the project if you want to be a part of it all in the description below i will see you in the next episode of son of elijah this is just the beginning of this series on satan's toolbox thank you and bye and see you in the next episode of son of elijah bye for now